hello. 50% chance that this movie will actually write it to the card. Stupid GoPro pile of shit. Nice opener. Uh, okay, so today was engine start day, the, almost the pinnacle of the build, you know, building up to this for a long, long time. So many things could have gone wrong, so many things could have stopped me from doing it, very, very nearly did. Um, but, uh, spoiler alert, it started! So, it starts with making sure I've got fluids in everywhere. So, um, starting at the back of the car, I did put a litre or so in here just uh, to test it, but I then forgot to test it. Uh, underneath the plate here is a, a filler for the diff, so I had a tube out here, I've got it in the movie at the end, um, with a little, um, what do you call it, thing, so that I could actually pour the oil in. I later found out, I think I might have used the wrong oil for that. No biggie, because I'm not going to drive the car. The car's going to be effectively winched onto the back of a truck, taken to Caterham for the post-build check, and I'll have them you know, look after it for me, because I'm an idiot. Uh, moving forwards then into the car area, um, difficult to get to in here, but is the um, top up the um, oil filler for the SEDA for the gearbox. Um, I then had a bit of difficulty here with the clutch, so you put the fluid into the clutch. And this here, which you can just see at the end of my fingertip, is uh, the bleed nipple for the clutch. But on everybody else's blog, that's a good inch higher, which means you can get a spanner on it and ease it off, close it, open it, close it, and let the bubbles flow out into a receptacle. Uh, mine is sunken way below the casting here, so I cannot get a spanner in there at all. Um, we managed to get a um, socket on the top of it to loosen it off, and then I just pumped the, um, the clutch until I got some fluid coming out of here, and then I closed that off. Uh, bleeding and stuff, I'm just gonna leave all that to cater again. However, um, at some point in time, it started to drip, and you can see underneath the car here, dripped quite badly. Um, so I'm pretty sure the clutch has not really got any fluid in it at all. But again, I'm not driving, I'm not engaging the clutch at all, so it should be okay. Uh, that's the clutch. Uh, so then it was engine, three litres in the engine, three litres in the um, dry sump tank. And then there was fluid in the expansion bottle, which you can see is pretty much drained through, so I have to get a top up for that. It was actually on the min level when we started the engine, but it's worked its way through the system uh, and into the radiator. What else was there? Just looking at my screen, clutch diff, gearbox, coolant, uh, washer, fuel. And then there was, I put about 18 litres. So I had this 20 litre can, and I, I think there's a couple of litres left in there, which I filled in the back. And then the startup process was basically to unplug the um, immobilizer. So pull that out and then turn the key. And turn the key a few times until the pressure gauge built up here to about three. So I managed to get it up to three after about four times three times 10 second presses of the starter button. Um, and then once we saw the pressure build up, I plugged this back in. And then I turned the key two or three times in order to get the fuel pump to turn. So the fuel pump's in here, over there actually, I fit it. Um, to get that to change its tone. And as soon as that changed its tone, it meant that the fuel lines had been filled with fuel and they'd made their way to compress in the engine or got some kind of ch change of tone. And then it was ready to fire up. It actually fired on the first go um, after about five or six seconds uh, and spluttered and died. And then on the second go, my dad took over onto the throttle cable there and um, we got it going. Um, obviously then needed to mess around with the idle speed. I wanted to check um, for temperature, but not full temperature. So I didn't get the fan on. I didn't leave it running for ages. I just wanted to check that there weren't any seals getting broken and there was no other oil or anything on the floor. So that was all good. And uh, you'll see from my video, um, I might have overreacted. Actually, no, it wasn't an overreaction. It was a genuine reaction because it's taken so long to do. Um, there's been so many places where I could have screwed this up, but I didn't. I started a car, made it. Nice one.
done. And when the light is on. Here we go. I was going to say, yes. that sounds That's nice. 10 seconds on that, no changes in the dials. Again, no change. Also, no fuel gauge. There's no way that's not. Is that because of the isolator? Oh, mm. maybe, maybe. So that was the second turn, still no change to the gauges. And that got to five, that got to three on that. Okay. So I think I have, I think I have oil pressure. Yeah, it's staying up while well, it's coming down. Yeah, probably. it should do, shouldn't it? There's no leaks. It's a good okay. start. So that's a good start. A good I have, start. I have oil pressure. So now I need to switch the key on and off a few times to get this to pump fuel through the lines to the engine. Yes. So I'm not going to, I'm going to turn the key rather than actually start it. Okay, because the key does the yep. fuel. So yep. you should listen out for the fuel pump. Right, that was just a solid tone, wasn't it? Yeah. He's got his death to come in. Okay. Yeah. What are you looking for? It should change tone when oh, it's okay. got compression. Changed yeah. a bit there. Uh, I did change a bit then, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, changed a bit That's really different. Okay, ready? Go for it. Here we go. Hold your breath. Going. Right, Dad, can you get your hand on the throttle? Not bad, Gary. Yes. Let's see if you can catch it on the next couple of goes. So it's just Head this on. pushes that way. Okay. That's it. Ready? Dad, it's right it's, under no, the... No, it's, it's here, it looks like. That goes... Which way would that go? Up. We've well, got to lift it, because it needs to... So, and it's got a nut on the bottom, so I need yes, to loosen it the nut. It's just... It's <laughs> unscrewed. That's uh, a lot better than I was expecting. Me too. Wow. 